what's going on guys and welcome back in this video I'm going to show you guys how to add a silver bezel to your W203's instrument cluster face dial now when I first got this instrument cluster uh, silver bezel this was all I could find at the time but now I'm going to show you guys a few pics of some of the different types of bezels that you can buy for your instrument cluster as well. Now these bezels are basically just adhesive stick-ons, but I personally think that it brings a whole lot more character to the car. You can buy ones that are like mine in chrome and matte silver and also carbon fiber, but I'm now seeing that you can even also buy bezels that cover the entire instrument cluster from, from one side to the other. So it covers the entire face dial of your instrument cluster. It even has the cutout of your indicators and also your LCD screen. It just helps to differentiate your car from every other car out there. And personally, I just think that it just gives your car a whole lot more character, especially with the W203 face dial being so plain. I mean, it definitely serves its purpose, but it is just a little bit plain. So getting something like this will definitely help to upgrade the look of the car and make it feel more luxurious or sporty you know if you want to call it that what you need to do obviously is remove the instrument cluster so be sure to check out the video up here and uh, it will show you how to remove your instrument cluster and pull it apart so that we can get to the face style of the instrument cluster you know it really is a simple process but i thought i should show you guys anyway just to give you guys a helping hand and show you guys just how it's done so if you watch the um, video on how to remove the instrument cluster and replace your lcd screen i will show you how to get to this part here so i've already installed the silver bezel here now originally i had a piece that went along the bottom i decided to take it off because as you can see here it really doesn't sit properly all the way around so i just thought it'd be easy if i just took that part off as all you're going to see is this silver part here that's all that really mattered for me you're not really going to see much of the bottom just to give you a demonstration of what I mean you're not really going to see much of the bottom I just simply cut it across with some pliers but make sure you cut it flush and nice because if you don't then it's going to look all squashed and as for the silver bezel that covers the speedometer all you really have to do is line it up and make sure that it sits flush with the numbers and then you can just stick it on and then in order to install this silver bezel this part remember normally clips on like so all you have to do is pull it up and it comes right off and then you grab your silver bezel remember that you do not want to install it closer to the bottom you want to install it a little bit higher i match the line with the bezel so it's completely flush at the bottom this bottom part sticks out a little bit equal along the bottom and then press it down of course clean the surface with some iso alcohol first isopropyl alcohol like i always say if you're ever working with any adhesive make sure you clean the surface first with some iso alcohol and then stick it down there is going to be a little bit that does not stick properly because of the video symbol right there that's not going to stick properly i then line this up here and then push it straight back down so it sticks back on again like so that's it that's clipped on now it's completely flush at the bottom now we get our microfiber cloth we clean everything so we do not have any fingerprint marks no dust nothing like that and remember always make sure that you do not touch your pins and if you do make sure that you reposition it where it belongs then get some air duster duster in a can and spray it all out we want to clean all this as well just get it all looking good clean it really well once we have all that installed we draw line it up okay make sure that our speedometer is completely flush with the inside okay when we go to push it down we don't want it to be in the way okay then we just push it straight down look at that see as you saw just then my silver bezel just popped right out you see it notice how that pops out because the silver bezel sits too far down so we need to redo this we need to make sure that our bezel 
sits higher do another trial fit everything else fits well except for the silver bezel now it really shouldn't be seated like that so we'll take this apart again one more time we need to get this right guys that's why i'm doing this video to show you guys how it doesn't always fit perfectly you know sometimes you need to adjust it yourself in order to get it to fit you notice that it has a position for the groove to sit in as you can see there so i don't understand why it's still touching it that's why i always recommend a trial fit before you stick it right on So I just trimmed it off, you know, just a little bit. So hopefully now it won't touch the bottom part. Smooth it off at the bottom so it's not too sharp there. You're not really going to see that part. Let's just put some soapy water on it. Now I'm just going to give it a quick clean before we put it back on. As we do want it completely clean. We don't want it dirty. Give it a nice clean all the way around. With some soapy water first. Because this doesn't work anymore, this stickiness. I'm going to take it off and apply my own. So I'm going to take it all off. Okay, so I'm just peeling it all off now because it really, it serves no purpose anymore. Just make sure nothing has bent. Okay, make sure it's still nice and clean. To make sure we line it up straight, I'm going to pull it off again. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to line it up this way because then I can see the straight lines. Make sure it's all straight even hey yeah, that's good now we just stick it on just back on beautiful now for the final test we shave that little bit off hoping that it would no longer interfere with when we clip this on look at that beautiful remember when i clipped it on last time it all it would always jump up and now i'm pushing down all the way and look at that that is perfect guys Alrighty, so there you go. <clears throat> That's how you install silver bezels for your W203 instrument cluster. Now, all you have to do is take it back to the car, plug in your plug and push it straight back in and you are done. So as you saw, it was necessary to shave a little bit of the bottom off. It looks really good right now. It looks really nice. I'm really happy with that. I also wanted to show you why it's important to um, have a hook tool or, a, or just to use a straight tool to open this up when you're coming in to take this out when you push in you notice how this part here clips so the whole point of having a hook is so that when you push it in and turn it down it will hold it in place so that you can take it out or you can even just use a straight tool and then that will push that forward moving this clip so your instrument cluster can come out and that's why you need a straight tool or a tool with a hook so once you push it in and turn it the hook will hold this down and you can remove your instrument cluster okay and well there you go guys your instrument cluster installed with a silver bezel okay and well there you have it guys how to add a silver bezel to your instrument clusters face style for your w203 now this applies to all w203 models with this type of face style if your face style is a little bit different, just have a browse around to see if you can find a face style for your instrument cluster. Like I showed earlier, there are some bezels also for the facelifted version for the W203. I believe it is from 2005 to 2007. I will leave links in the description below for where you can find these face style covers from. So be sure to check them out if you're interested in something like that. Until next time, thanks again for watching. This is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off. Yeah.